Hey guys, today we've got the first bathroom reveal from our flip home, so stay tuned, check it out. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Again, we've got more of the flip house reveals coming, so it's a really exciting time for our channel. We've been waiting for this for months and it's now the moment. Be sure to also leave us a comment, give us a like, that helps us a ton. And then also uh, you can subscribe to our newsletter over on designlovesdetail.com to get the latest blog posts. We'll have the sources there as well as in the description so you can shop these spaces that we're sharing. And then uh, make sure to follow me also on Design Loves Detail on Instagram. So a few assignments for you. Even though it's the smallest space in this house, I kind of feel like it was one of the biggest changes because we were able to pack so much incredible new detail into the space. If you recall how it was before, it was the dirtiest bathroom and it didn't even show through on the camera as bad as it was in person. Just layers of grime. It hadn't probably been cleaned for years is what it felt like. And then the flooring was a faux stone linoleum. In the video, you probably couldn't tell it was it was faux stone. It looked actually real, but in real life, it was literally just the sheet <laughs> of fake rocks. So that had to go. We put in this gorgeous tile, which is just, I mean, show-stopping. It's from Emser Tile and is just one of my favorite moments in the whole house. It really uh, levels up <laughs> the bathroom and, and the house in general. So. Happy to have that added. And then we went with a really affordable vanity. I actually did a search on Home Depot and then ordered them in price from lowest to highest. And this was one of the more affordable options. It was in the first couple pages, I think, of, of the vanities. And so um, not a bad price at all. I did um, switch the hardware to the matte black because I've kind of done matte black throughout the house. So that um, tied in with the other details. I love it. And I love having a little bit of the brass as well. Um, this vanity is nice because it comes with the sink. So all you have to do is just get the faucet to go with it. And this was another really affordable find. It brings in that it's kind of satin brass. So it's really subtle, feels a little more updated than some of you know the older, really shiny brass that um, was in back in the day. And then I went matte black on the mirror. This is actually just a target mirror. So it's a really good price as well. And then mixing in that round shape really helps break up all the rectangles and sharper elements that we have going on with the more linear lines it kind of just softens that and gives us a big focal point here in the space I love how large it is I kind of made it go almost the length of the vanity I think the vanity is 36 and the mirror is 34 so it really fills the space nicely and it kind of opens it up some too because it's not a huge bathroom we did get a lot of wow I think packed into such a small space and just even update things like updating the toilet makes such a difference um, really a modern clean sleek toilet I sometimes get passionate about having <laughs> modern toilets because um, like I've told you they're easier to clean um, there's I don't like seeing the plumbing the outline of the plumbing pipes where it snakes down at the bottom these modern ones which I'll link this for you of course with all the other things in the description they just have a lot a lot better look to them and a lot better function in my opinion so I've used this particular toilet in quite a few projects and I've been really happy with it it has the um, top flush so um, and the water con conserving <laughs> That word is somehow hard for me. Water conserving option. So that's pretty nice. And then I got the matching, um, I'll step in the tub real quick, the matching uh, shower head and um, shower trim is really what it's called with the tub trim for the faucet. So that kind of satin brass tone. Again, I actually need to get this part and the drain. I need to order in the ones to match because the plumber just put it in the standard chrome, but that drives me nuts and those don't match. So sorry, but that's what we've got right now. Hopefully they can, we can find one. These are again, a, a Home Depot find. So really reasonable price point to get that um, satin brass look. We kept this the same. If you guys remember looking back, um, this is actually the exact same surround. It was so neutral that I knew that if we did the other wow moments in this bathroom, it would totally just blend and it wasn't worth ripping out. Um, so it really saved us on cost and it's kind of one of those things, if it's not fixed, not, not broken, don't fix it. <laughs> Except I said it backwards, that's fine. I'm really bad at things actually. So it's kind of a rough spot for me, but you know what I meant. Another thing that's kind of nice about this bathroom is just this little window up here because it brings in that natural light. And so even though it is, again, such a small space, it feels a little bit more open and airy because of that. So 
Um, I was really happy that that was there, that was existing, we didn't have to add it, but it does make an impact in the overall feel of the space, which is great. The wall color in here, which is nice because it kind of almost just blends with this, I think this is like a cultured marble, the surround thingy. And we left the tub as well, by the way, both of those were here, but this kind of just blends together. I kind of talk sometimes about not having things that break up the eye. If you want a space to feel bigger, you want to keep it um, seamless in the color so that your eye is not like stopping at every color transition. So this um, being really similar to the wall color, which is Benjamin Moore's China White, really helps us in this case to kind of keep a, a nice flow and open feeling to this small space. I did matte black for the um, toilet paper holder. These are a really affordable um, option. It comes with all the hardware you need. The towel bar over here, uh, in that matte black as well, really simple modern design. And of course, um, having a towel that kind of coordinates with the bathroom is nice. Um, I do that even in a flip house when we're staging and styling it because it's a really small investment. I just got these at Home Goods for like 10 bucks. Um, and then I can either use them in my house or we might even just sell it all with the house, we'll see. It kind of makes it have a more finished feel. And we really want people to have that, like, that idea of like, bring your toothbrush and move in, that's all you need. That lets them feel like they don't have projects going in and they can just go to this house and relax and enjoy it. I love how I'm still in the tub. Maybe I'll step out. Um, <laughs> so definitely those little details in styling really do play a part. Um, over here we have the one on the wall as well. That is the hand towel bar. I kept the towels the same so those coordinate. And then just have that little bit of kind of a gray blue tone that ties in with our, our base cabinet here. When I'm styling a bathroom like this, I love to bring in these little accessories that are kind of the, you know, little extra, um, like I was talking about, that just give it that custom feel, make you want to move in, um, a little bit of soap, um, these cute trays you can pick up at um, TJ Maxx or Home Goods. I get those a lot of times. And even these kind of like specialty handmade soaps so that you have a little bit of that organic detail in there as well. Um, the faux plants, also nice to have just that little pop of greenery. You can put a real plant if you don't kill them. Um, like, you know, my problems with real plants. Um, I do love them, but this just kind of gives us the same effect without having the maintenance. And then a little, um, little wood detail in this brush. Um, those little things I think really make an impact. And then of course we have um, this gorgeous light fixture too that I forgot to talk about so far. Um, this one is really fun because it mixes in that matte black and the matte white. So it gives us, you know, kind of ties in the bathroom, but I like how the um, shades of this fixture almost just kind of blend into the wall. So it's sort of subtle and just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of detail that's kind of understated because I really did want, you know, this round mirror and this little pop of the satin brass to be kind of our focal point here. And really, I think this whole bathroom just has a soothing Zen spa-like feel, which is, I think, what any of us could appreciate. So we wanted to bring some of that piece into this house and get rid of the, sheet vinyl and the chaos and grime. I mean, it's so clean in here, it makes me happy because I can't even, when I think back on it, it was like, it was just hard to be in here. I can handle it, I can handle a mess, but seriously, the toilet was gross. Like, it was really, truly gross. That being said, feeling good about this space and hopefully you guys like it. Leave us a comment, tell me what you think, how it all turned out, and also like, you can give me a thumbs up, that'd be fantastic. I will uh, be sharing in the next video a peek at the guest room, and I love this space too, so make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so that you get those notifications of our future videos, and I will see you next time.